Welcome to the lab for Remixed Knowledge. This is a how-to guide to creating emergent terms. Now, why do we want to create emergent terms? Why are they valuable? Well, emergent terms emerge from source language via remixing, and they attract potential meaning by reversing the standard progression of concept first, name second. So typically when you're working on ideas, you'll start to have the idea and then you'll create a name or a term for the idea that makes sense. With an emergent term, we reverse the process. So we create a new term by remixing, and then meaning will follow. Meaning will emerge to fulfill the term. So let's take a look at what that means and learn how to remix some emergent terms. But first, always remember the three I's of remixing knowledge. Intent, intuition, and improvisation. That is, focus your intent on creating a meaningful remix, trust your intuition, and improvise, improvise, improvise. First you need a source text, preferably one that you're interested in or that you have some experience or knowledge with the vocabulary and concepts of the source text field. So I've chosen an article on mapping the mind that I found in Seed Magazine. And once you have your source text, you're going to rapidly scan the page or flip through the pages finding words that jump out at you and arranging them into a term. Let's see what that looks like. Cellular data values. Again, I kind of scanned the page and quickly grabbed words and arranged them into something that looks kind of like a term, kind of like a concept. Let's try one more. Convergent, region to region, amplifiers. Again, we do that pretty quickly, we trust our intuition, we improvise, we can change the form of words to match what we need to do. So we change converge to convergent uh, to make it sound more like a term. So again, all of the language here, all the words are just material that you can manipulate in any way, shape, or form to, uh, to fulfill the needs of your remix. Let's do one more. Synaptic amplification of data sets. Notice how we inserted the word of and changed data set to data sets in order to create something that looks like a term. Now the true power in emergent terms is that you create the term and then meaning comes later. So we have some really powerful, uh, very evocative terms here. Cellular data values, convergent region to region amplifiers, synaptic amplification of data sets. So we can look at those terms and start to build meaning into them. We can do this individually, but maybe we don't really know what all of these terms mean, or you know, maybe we're just not as interested in the terminology. Maybe it's just not working for us. So that's where crowdsourcing comes in. We generate enough of these emergent terms, and we all get together and discuss them and research them, and together we can build the meaning uh, into these terms. And that's kind of cool. While you're in the lab to create emergent terms, what you'll do is select a source text and then remix them and put them on post-it notes. Go kind of quickly. Again, trust your intuition and improvise. You'll write them down on post-it notes, put them on the wall so the researchers can gather around and get to work. So now it's your turn.